Now I'm going to pump the lifter and you can already see that the gasoline got dirty. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And then let it fill and repeat the process until you see that there are no more bubbles coming out. Hi, it's Bimerzen with another video and this time I will be cleaning the hydraulic lifters on a BMW N43 engine and that's because I'm currently in the middle of a pretty big rebuild of this engine so uh, I've decided to clean the lifters and uh, show you how it's done. So let's first talk about how the whole system works and why you need hydraulic lifters. So you have this uh, camshaft follower arm or a rocker arm and this sits on the hydraulic lifter on one side and on the other side it presses against the valve stem and uh, when the camshaft rotates the camshaft lobe pushes down on this roller here and since the hydraulic lifter is fixed point the valve spring has to compress. And the function of the hydraulic lifter is uh, to provide the correct lash adjustment or pressure of the follower arm against the camshaft lobe. And that is achieved by trapping a small amount of oil inside of the lifter. So there's a check valve so the oil can enter into a chamber and then the lifter expands but the oil cannot then escape. So it continuously adjusts the pressure on this part and this way the engine runs smoothly and quietly. I've decided to disassemble a lifter. Now this lifter is not from this engine, it's from a different engine and I don't really recommend doing this. So uh, if you want to open up a lifter you have to grip it at the base and then use pliers and pull out the plunger. And this little plunger has a piece of uh, wire here and this wire prevents the plunger from uh, falling all the way out. Then there's the base of the lifter. It only has a hole here, so nothing on the inside. And then there's the check valve and this is a quite delicate piece. You can see a little ball here and it has a little spring so if I push down on this little ball the valve will open and let the oil in and then in between there's this little spring and the function of this little spring is to keep the lifter in fully extended position. So this is how everything looks like on the inside. You really should not disassemble the lifters because it's kind of hard to get it back together without damaging it. So uh, this is only for YouTube purposes. Bad hydraulic lifters can be a very common cause of engine issues, especially on the Valvetronic models where the engine RPM is regulated by opening the valves. So uh, if you have malfunction there, the valve will not open enough and you'll have issues. Now, how do you recognize a bad lifter? Now, that's not a very simple question and it does not have a straight answer. So basically you can have uh, two failure modes. One is that the non-return valve leaks, so the lifter is collapsed and it will not open. And the other failure mode is that the lifter is stuck, so uh, the valve works, but it cannot expand because it's binding. One way to check if the lifter is stuck is uh, to just try and rotate it by hand with your fingers. And if it rotates, then it's probably not stuck. And the third failure mode could be worn surface on the top of the plunger. So it has to be nice and smooth and round. And if you see some weird sign of wear here, then you should replace it. So let's check the lifters on this cylinder head. This engine was standing still for a couple of months. So uh, let's see if the lifters can be pushed down or not. Let's start with number one. I'm going to push it and it does not want to move at all. There is just a little bit of movement. If you look very closely, you can see that there is really, really little movement here. So this one is pretty stiff. Let's check this lifter here. 
and right away I can see that I can press it down almost all the way. So these are two completely different scenarios. One is stiff and the other one wants to move. Now this probably means that this lifter here has no oil inside, so the oil drained out and uh, that's why I'm able to move it. And this one still has oil inside and it's stiff. So if your lifter is stiff, it's probably fine. But uh, if it wants to move, then it probably has air inside or the valve doesn't hold the oil inside. So let's check the rest of the lifters. This one can be moved a little bit. Let's go to the next. This one is pretty stiff, but I can see that I can move it just a little bit. Let's check this one. This one is stiff, but I can see that it just moves a little bit. Let's check this one. Okay, this one can be moved more. So this one is not stiff. This one is totally stiff, but still I can see just a little bit of movement. And the last one is also stiff, but Again, if I look very closely, I can see that it is moving just a little bit. I'm going to remove this one that wants to move. And it comes right out. Here you can see the oil channel along the cylinder head. And this is where the oil pressure gets applied and uh, there's also a groove and uh, this is where the oil gets into the lifter. There's also a small hole here on the side. Let me show you. Okay, so this is where the oil gets in. So let's clean this lifter now and see if it is uh, okay or not. So as I said, there is a check valve inside the lifter and it consists out of a metal ball and a spring. It's pretty standard setup. And uh, the way to release it is uh, to insert a small wire through this hole on the top. I will be using a small diameter drill bit and I want to push the drill in and release the valve and then simultaneously press on the lifter. And once I do that, the valve opens up so I'm able to compress the lifter all the way in. I have a cup of regular gasoline here and this will act as a solvent and a cleaner. So I'm just gonna dip the lifter in. Now I'm going to pump the lifter and you can already see that the gasoline got dirty. That's probably because there's some old dirt inside the lifter. Okay, let's see. Here's the hole. And if I compress the lifter slowly, I can see that the gasoline slowly comes out. I want to press it all the way and get all of this dirt out. Okay, so uh, this lifter is now clean. And now I'm going to fill it up with oil. So I have a cup of fresh oil here. And again, I'm just going to dip the lifter in and I'm going to press it all the way down. And on the way up, it should fill with oil. Oh, 
I have to do this a couple of times. Make sure you press it all the way in and then let it fill and repeat the process until you see that there are no more bubbles coming out. You can actually feel that it kind of uh, changes the compliance so it gets a bit stiffer like a shock. Now let's see if it holds the pressure. Yeah, it's pretty stiff. It's almost as stiff as the other lifters on the cylinder head that were not moving before. So I think that uh, this is a good lifter. If the lifter won't stay stiff while applying pressure, if you feel it collapsing, then you probably still have air inside, so you have to redo this procedure, or you just might have a bad lifter. This, for example, is not good. So I didn't bleed this lifter enough, and I have to repeat the process now. I'm done cleaning the last lifter on the intake side, and it's nice and stiff. Let's put it back. Now let's see how much dirt we have in the gasoline and in the oil. Of course the gasoline is pretty black and uh, also the oil is pretty black and I can actually see some bearing material or some bigger pieces of dirt here. So I think I will have to repeat this process twice just to make sure that uh, everything is nice and clean. Now I'm going to pour out this gasoline into this container. And here you can see how much dirt there was in the lifters. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It was definitely worth cleaning them out. Now I just have to do the exhaust side and I'm done. So uh, thanks for watching, consider subscribing if you have BMW N42, N43 or N46 engine. Keep zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance.